What's going on everyone? Welcome to the channel. My name's Grizz. We're in Black Ops 6 Zombies and this is the new vault pileup glitch in the preseason. Preseason begins today. Today's the launch of the game and while most people are doing the main quests, we're over here hunting for the best glitches. So be sure to subscribe for more glitches in this glitch series and activate that bell icon if you want to level up fast in Zombies. And if you can, comment down below what's your current level in Black Ops 6 Zombies. I'm currently level 18 in the military ranks, so not even Prestige 1 yet, but still grinded. So let me know where you're at. Okay, this one's really easy to do, and the way you actually get to the bank is you have to go through the hotel. The back of the hotel is going to lead you to the bowling alley. And you're just going to go right through the bowling alley. You're going to buy these doors straight through the bowling alley. And you're going to make your way to West Street here. And go down West Street. And this building here is the bank. And in here is the vault. The vault's where it's all happening. And you're not going to need some fancy code that you run around the map for and get. No, we're not even going inside the vault. The prompt that allows you to enter a code in is where the magic happens. It repels the zombies away. And the longer you hold it, like you're seeing right here, I usually count to three. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. There's actually a delay before it comes back. And so for you to enter this back in, you don't want the zombies all piling on you. You can actually take it down from that. But if you count to three, it gives you enough time. And what we're trying to do is take advantage of that delay. And if you can get your timing just right, if you know what I'm talking about, there's a there's a sweet rhythm you can get into, and uh, you can almost guarantee full control of how the zombies are flowing away from you and coming towards you, so you can run through and grab ammo. There's an ammo cache actually right in the street, so you can have them running during the delay um, after you enter the vault and go sprint out there and grab ammo and come right back. And I want to say it was almost round 27 by the time I got enough money to actually pack a punch three times. So pack three cost 30,000 zombie points. And it's not so much that the cost is the problem, it's how we make zombie points happen. The amount of zombie points we're actually making just is not enough to what is needed and it seems like every time I need something, I'm coming up short. And if you're not playing a solo match, if you're online playing with multiple players, randoms, and you actually take it down, and you're say you're a good player, and you actually take it down somehow by someone running their train right into you and you're not looking. Trust me, it happened to me twice. And you take that down, what happens is you lose your pack of punched weapon and your perks. And you take that down and the other teammates are just running all around you but they let you bleed out you bleed out all the way you know what happens when you bleed out you're given an upgraded rarity on your weapon when you spawn in but you lose your pack a punch so think about how much money you just lost you lost five grand then you lost 15 grand if you had pack two odds are you're gonna have pack two for a long time and the idea is to get to round 25 when Der Wonderfizz spawns in the map and for 4,000 points, you can get Elemental Pop. This perk is amazing. And this is what's actually going to save you a lot of ammo in the long run as you go to high rounds. I think this does make going to high rounds a lot more enjoyable. And the more glitches that we come across, I think it'll become more fun in the long run. And the biggest problems that I have with this game, there's really two big problems. One is that it's boss heavy the higher rounds you go. There's just too many boss zombies. And the other thing is that in Cold War Zombies, Black Ops Cold War, we got ammo packs. Uh, when we killed the zombies, they dropped ammo. And so we're running into this ammo issue, right? The more that I pack a punch my weapons, the more ammo costs. And I need other stuff. I need perks. I need to unlock doors. And these things get to be so expensive while I'm set trying to save up for pack-a-punch because these zombies are getting stronger. We at least got to get to pack-a-punch too. So we need at least... 20,000 zombie points just to do that and now we no longer have the feature like we did in Black Ops Cold War zombies where the zombies dropped ammo packs so I gotta go spend money on ammo now and this could simply be fixed if Treyarch just allowed the zombies to drop ammo packs 
and we wouldn't have a money issue in the flow of earning and spending money in the zombies maps and the boss zombies they're just too heavy in later rounds we need a nerf on that big time but that's gonna do it for this video fellas that is the new vault glitch here on the map Liberty Falls we're currently in the preseason so things are gonna get patched over quickly use this to your advantage and hopefully we find some new glitches soon I'll be letting you know be sure to subscribe for more glitches in this glitch series and activate that bell notification man if you want to level up fast in zombies see you next time fellas violent out